Well, good afternoon, folks. This is Paul Brake, your Newfoundland Libertarian and Canadian Libertarian as well, since we all live in the great country. The thing I'd like to talk to you a little bit about is really what makes the Libertarians different from everything else out there. Now, often when I start talking about different aspects, and I start talking about it from a Libertarian point of view, often the things I start to hear are people trying to take what we're telling them about the libertarian philosophy and trying to stick it into the existing system, the statehood system, the status system that you get with your other parties. And, and, and it doesn't fit. Well, of course it doesn't fit. Because libertarianism is a philosophy where we take the first principles of personal liberty of property rights, of fiscal responsibility, of transparency and accountability. We take these things and we start looking at the problems that we have. And when we start doing that, we start finding solutions and not difficult to find solutions often. They usually come up come out pretty quick. The the solutions. And in some cases, we can just look at existing countries and systems. Like we look at health care. Well, we don't have to invent a new health care system. We just have to look around the world to see something that works better. Now, we got what we, we often consider to be a really good health care system in Canada, but honestly, it's not. We, we get that the health care is good. We've got great doctors and nurses and stuff doing great stuff for us. But the, the system of organization and of... of Running it is not that good. And if you look at OECD countries, you, you'll see that you know we adopt some of the existing models that they have. We don't even make any changes, just do what they do. We'll get 23% more doctors and nurses, 50% more hospital beds, and no waiting lines, and all for about 75% of what we're currently paying. Well, doesn't that sound good? How can we turn that down now? Look how much we pay for Medicare. And if we can save 25% and increase number of doctors and nurses and beds and help people just by adopting a management system that works better than what we got, well, it'd be mindless not to. And that's how we look at it from a libertarian point of view is the fiscal responsibility is look what, what works. And what we know doesn't work is crown corporations. It just doesn't. You look at CBC, well, we'd have to dump in Canada what, a, a billion dollars a year into it just to keep it afloat. And it's not as though it's, you know, like PBS. Look, you look at PBS, they're sponsored completely by sponsorship, by public sponsorship. And please, people like, you know, Global and Czech TV and stuff like that, well, they, they're competing directly with CBC. And they don't get a billion dollars dumped into them, yet they're doing just fine and doing even better. Look at Sun News, where they come from, Sun they're doing better than CBC. Why? And they no, no money being put in because they're private. They're free market. They they know they only have so much money to work with, and they work within those bounds, just like you do at home. You have a job. You have a paycheck. You know how much money's coming in. You got fifty thousand dollars coming into your house. We well, don't spend sixty. You got fifty. That's it. You work around it. You buy a little no name here and there, and and instead of buying the T-bone steak, well, you know maybe you go for a blade steak on Friday night. Cook it up, spice it up, stays just, just about as good. You make a little sacrifice here and there, you get what you need. And you're not broke at the end of the night. Well, look at the Liberals in Ontario. What, the, what they're doing. $278 billion in debt. And we look at Newfoundland, we got a PC government that doesn't seem to know what he's doing anymore. That one, that's a, that's a blow, that's one of them blow to blue whales, I think is what, what that is. And then we got the Liberals, well, we see what Liberals can do. We see what they did in Newfoundland before. And the big thing about these parties, they all say they're different. Yet when one gets in, another gets out, do you really see any changes? They run all the same programs. The only thing they change is who gets a six-figure job working for them. They kick out the other guy's buddies and put their own in. It, it, it's crazy. And then they add some bureaucracy and they charge you some more tax. Why, why does it cost more? Why does it cost a larger percentage every year to run the government? Hey, when I was a kid, in the 70s, we had a government. Everything ran fine. We had Medicare. We had roads. We had trains in Newfoundland. Remember that? Those days? We had it all. Didn't cost what it costs now. 
Not even percentage-wise. Even if the dollars went up, the percentage shouldn't. Yeah, it costs more. Because they keep growing the government. And it's doing nothing. Except spending your money. And the libertarians, we're not left, we're not right. We're not centrist. We're not any of it. We're not statist at all. We believe that your government is your servant, not your ruler and master. As such, it's supposed to do the things you need done for you. Not for them. Not here to make them rich. We, the government should be there for you. It's created by a mandate. In Canada, we have what's called a representative government, where you hire you, you hire through elect through election your representative, whether it's an MHA or an MP for federal, and they go to the government house, whichever that is, whether it's a house of assembly or parliament in, in Ottawa, or your mayor or your city council, as case may be on a municipal level, and they're supposed to represent the people of that writing who, who voted for them. So they're not there for their own ideas and their own will. They're supposed to come as a messenger from you, telling the government what you want done. Well, isn't that amazing? That's been around for hundreds of years, and it hasn't been done yet. Well, how about time, I think, that we start doing it, don't you? I, I think it's time that the government and the elected officials for the government start doing the things that the people who elected them want done. That's what the libertarians want to do. That's why we're, we're here. If, if the other parties were doing what they're supposed to be doing, we, we'd be back, you know, engineering and driving truck and all the rest of what we do. But we're here because we're not getting the service that we're paying for. We need the government to be changed. And the whole idea of libertarianism is it changing completely. Everything about it. Fiscal responsibility, transparency and accountability, small government, get rid of crown corporations, open it up to the private sector. You don't just fire everybody and let it come up. What you do is you open it up to free market. All the things the government's doing, selling the booze and the ferries. You know, people in Newfoundland and Labrador look at the numbers. When someone gets on those ferries, it works out to the equivalent of you people out of your hard-earned money paying $430 to subsidize each and every passenger on Marine Atlantic. That's what it works out to. It's insane. Now, we, we have tourists coming over, and it's, you know, oh, it's great for tourist business. Really, those, those people paying that extra $430 in Newfoundland, buying goods? Really? I don't think they do. I don't think they do. I think what we need to do is we need to get the ferries operating efficiently so we don't have to give $430 for each one of those people. So when they do come over, the money that they do spend isn't just making up their trip. It's actually helping the province and giving them a good time in the process because I tell you, there's no better place to go to Newfoundland. But uh, from a, a political point of view, we can't have these things happening. We can't. It's, it's going to bankrupt us. We can't keep running deficits. We have oil now. Why would we run a deficit? Why would we borrow money? You know, money works. When you borrow money, it's borrowed at interest. And the money that you borrow is actually created on a partial reserve, so it doesn't exist in the first place. So you borrow $10, but you owe 11 You You, you can never pay it back because there's not enough money to pay it with. Every time we owe, we borrow money, we, we, we co-create a debt larger than the money we're borrowing. We can't keep operating like that. And we can't keep mortgaging our kids and our grandkids and our great-grandkids. I want my kids to grow up debt-free. I don't want them to, to, to pay for my sloppiness. It, it, it's, it's inhuman. It's unethical and immoral to ask your children to enter life pre-indebted because you are too selfish and lazy and foolish to operate fiscally responsibly. And it's not the people, like I say, it's, it's the governments and it's the status idea of the government. that They think they can fix things with legislation, adding more rules, adding more laws. It hasn't fixed nothing, has it? Look back in time, it hasn't fixed nothing. They don't change anything, you just add to it. They make it heavier and more and a greater burden on each and every person. The tax burden goes up and up and up, and what we get back in, re in return is less and less, and we're getting nowhere. Legislation and laws and rules hampering you and tying you up. And we're not talking real laws, like thou shalt not kill, where you have a victim, 
and you have a measurable harm, well, those things are what the laws are for. There's all these victimless crimes and property crimes. We don't even have property rights. Do you know that the government can walk in at any time and take your house and kick you out of it? And there's nothing you can do about it. You look at there's a guy named Frank Myers in Ontario. He, his family was on a farm since before Canada was Canada. And the federal government decided they wanted to make it a training base for one of their military groups. Not that we have that many anymore because they keep shrinking the military. But they went and they took his farm. Period. Kicked him off. He don't want to lock, stock, and barrel for over 200 years. Longer in Canada than in Canada. And they just took it from him because there's no property rights in Canada. The Constitution says there should be. The Consolidated Constitution Act of 1982 in Section 92.13 says it's our jurisdiction as, pro as a province for our provincial governments to set up property laws within the province and property rights laws. So the reason we have no property rights in Newfoundland is because every provincial government in Newfoundland has failed their duty to you to legislate those laws. Every one of them. And I haven't heard one party saying, yeah, that's one thing we want to do, other than the libertarians. And it's true for all over Canada. In every province, every government that has been in every province has failed through wanton neglect or intent to establish property rights for the people of their provinces as established in the Constitution, Section 92.13. The Libertarians, let me tell you, that's one of our number top 10 items we want to fix. I would say it's number one because a few other things we want to fix too. Things like, for instance, they, they want to raise the minimum wage. Well, that's foolish. Why should we take, take a guy who's being paid $11 an hour, take his money away, spend half of it in administration, and give some of it back to him in like GST and child care? If, if, it, if the minimum wage is too low, stop taking it from him and let him have his money. If, you know, the, the libertarians... We say, raise the personal deduction to $20,000. That's your start. If you're making a minimum wage, you don't pay income tax. How's that for a start? Why is there so many taxes? Because we're wasting money. Let's stop the government from wasting money. Let's, sell all, let's open everything up to the free market. Let other companies start competing with the crown corporations. And once everything gets established and we get a good competition, the prices are coming down and the the, 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 the service and product starts going up, then what we do is we sell off those crown corporations piecemeal or as a whole if somebody's got the money to buy them. And we take the money from those capital expenditure or those capital assets and instead of blowing it like everybody else does, we pay off the debt. We could get Newfoundland debt free and then we wouldn't need all these taxes. We could remove over time the income tax completely. It's possible, because we never had it before. There was a time there was no income tax. Do you know that? You talk to your, your grandparents, your great-grandparents. I'll be able to tell you every time. When there was no income tax and everything ran just fine. We want to reduce the income tax to the point where there's no income tax. The government should not be coercing money out of you, taxing you for having a job, for having a place, for, for, for living, so it can throw money it, you know, either into a, to a union or into a bank or into a corporation. Because let me tell you, whether you're left or whether you're right or whether you're centrist, if you're a status party, you are not working for the people, you're working for the state. You are saying that you are more important than they are and your chief interest is you and your buddies, your lobbying, your lobbyists, your friends who help you get elected. Well, a libertarian is going to fix that all together. We're going to open everything up. If someone wants to, to donate money, they can donate money, but everybody's going to know who did it. And there's going to be no lobbying because the government's not going to be any, doing anything left for them to lobby. But we're going to get rid of all the interference to trade. We're going to create voluntary systems of free market. And you do that, you don't have to make anything. You just stop taking and you stop blocking. We're not going to take from people, we're going to start giving back to them. The things that have been taken from them. The libertarian philosophy is an all-encompassing philosophy of personal liberty, of freedom, of accountability and transparency, of fiscal responsibility, of personal property rights, of a free 
market, a true free market that's not being interfered by governments, by foreign bodies, like this oil in, in western Newfoundland, where UNESCO is sticking her nose in with Ottawa, trying to block Newfoundlanders from recovering a billion barrel resource out of the 23 billion that, that's in situ. What right do they have to do that? If Newfoundland wants to frack, Newfoundland gets to frack. If Newfoundland doesn't want to frack, then that's Newfoundland's choice, not Ottawa's, not UNESCO, not Qatar, not OPEC. It's ours. We make the choice. And the government does what the people tell them to do. That's how it should be. The governments are civil servants, not masters. So when you start looking at the libertarian point of view, and you're going to be hearing more about it from different people, I urge you very strongly to, to, to not try to take what you're hearing and stick it into the current machine. Because the current machine has to be completely changed. Liberty has to, to take over. The people have to be given back the country and the province that they own. The government is their servant, not their master. We're here for you. We're standing for Newfoundland. That's why we're here. This is not the, the thing we want to do. This is the thing we need to do. And we look through history. We can see so many places and so many times where great things happen because one man or one woman took a stand. Look at Rosa Parks and what she did. She just decided she'd had enough. She had enough. And she said, here I stand. Look at Martin Luther. He just said, I've had enough. Here I stand. Well, people in Newfoundland and Labrador, I invite you to stand with me. Stand for Newfoundland. Stand for your future. Stand for your children. Look into the libertarian philosophy. It all makes sense. You don't have to be sold on it. You just have to look at it. And it makes sense. It's logical. Stand for Newfoundland. Stand with me. Because let me tell you, here I stand. I've had enough and I'm doing something about it. Thank you and God bless you all.